Good morning, what's up? How's life? I don't know, how's life for you? Life's doing pretty solid for me. I have to tell you guys later this entire thing that I did to my friend yesterday, like, I could tell my friend, I'm like, you're gonna hate me, like, you're gonna fucking die when I tell you this thing that I have to, I had to tell them, which I'll tell you what I told them. But they're like, what is, I have a feeling they thought like I was gonna be like, someone's like out to fucking like, hill you. I just spit, ew, you're like about to die, like. <laughs> But it was really funny and like I just completely love fucking with people like that's something that brings me joy like fucking with people so I'll tell you the entire story later it was really funny but I'm gonna go get dressed because look at the ends they're frizzy it's back to being curly um that is partially about what my entire thing that I fucked with my friend my beautiful hair on my head but I'll tell you guys later and then um yeah I'm gonna go get dressed and not be naked if anyone knows anything about me recently, I've been on a really, really huge, as Donald Trump would say, huge, um, Ariana Grande kick. Like the past month, like I don't know what it is, what it is about her, just I love Ariana Grande, everything about her, everything about her brings me joy. And I've always loved Ariana Grande. Why am I talking so loud? She makes me happy. Yeah, I was like, mom, remember back in the day, literally, I went to look the video up. She used to upload covers on video or covers of songs on YouTube back when she was on like Victorious. And I was like, mom, remember I used to always play these songs and I would like try to justify that she's a good singer even though she was from Nickelodeon. And I just went to Google one of the songs and it was uploaded in February of 2011, which means it's nearly eight years old. And I'm like, damn, one, I forgot she was even around for that long. It's crazy how fast time goes by. I feel like it was just like yesterday, I was sitting in my room watching like fucking Hannah Montana, but like, no, that show was started like, what, fucking like 12 years ago or something crazy like that. But <laughs> yeah, now I don't have to justify anymore that Ariana Grande is a good singer because it's like eight years later and she's like made a name for herself. She's like, thank you, next bitch. I know I'm a good singer. If you don't think I'm a good singer, suck me. But I just love Ariana Grande and I just am in love with her. That's the moral of the story. What's up YouTube? It's late at night. I'm wearing my orange sweater. It's cold. I call it a pumpkin sweater because it's orange. And my dad's literally wearing like the same sweater. One, it's just a shade lighter of orange. And two, his is in a crop sweater. Though if my dad wanted to wear a crop sweater, I think it'd be really hot. Like he could pull it off. He'd be like the sexiest crop sweater you've ever seen on a guy. He's <laughs> gonna show off his stomach. <laughs> but yeah, so me and my dad are twinning because we're wearing the same color sweaters almost. So we're gonna tell you a story time right now about this one time where I cut my hair. <laughs> so yesterday I had my hair straight. And like I can do this thing where <laughs> I flip my hair up and it makes it look like I cut my hair. So one of my friends is like gung-ho, they're like, think my hair, think, or they're convinced my hair looks better long, which it does, like my hair would look terrible short. I did that once when I was in like second grade, I made my mom cut my hair up to here, it was the worst decision ever in my life. And she, I got bangs as well, it looked bad. Yeah, I know, I look ugly with short hair, <laughs> moral of the story. But I flipped my hair up, my mom wants to show you this picture of me with short hair as a little baby, I look really ugly. So this is the picture. I won. My smile still crooked as fuck. I didn't know how to smile too. Like, what is my hair? Like, I look like I have the hair of a 50 year old woman. <laughs> it looks like my hair do now. But, so I uh, flipped my hair up and I took a picture in the with the short hair and I sent it to my friend. I was like, rip hair. My friend was like convinced I cut my hair. And number two, my friend's like a guy. So like, guys are really fucking oblivious. Like, it's just a fact of life. No friends to offense to any guy watching this you guys are fucking stupid and oblivious when it comes to like girl related things like a girl could like go from blonde to jet black hair and they would be like they wouldn't even notice that our hair went from blonde to jet black but so i did that i sent to my friend and then i was talking to them on the phone i was like i have something to tell you like you're gonna fucking die when i tell you like you're gonna kill me because i wanted to tell them i really didn't cut my hair because they really were convinced that i had cut my hair and i kept saying so, like, are you still going to be friends with me after, like, now that I've cut my hair? Like, are you still going to be seen out in public with me? Or are you going to disassociate with me now that I've cut my hair? And then, so, I uh, sent them a picture of me. And, like, I just did a selfie, or not a selfie, a Snapchat of, like, me and my hair. And it was, like, long and it was, like, just flowing. And they're like, what? I'm so confused. Like, you put your hair extensions in your hair. And then they, we were on the phone when I sent them the Snapchat. So then I flipped it to FaceTime because they also have an iPhone. And I was just like showing in. They're like, wait, I'm so confused. Like what happened? Like you have your hair extensions in. How was your hair long? They were like so confused. And they're like, no, I didn't think you did it. Like I knew you would never cut your hair. And I'm like, no, like I convinced you. And they're like, yeah. So basically moral of the story is I literally fucked my friend and convinced my friend that I had cut my hair. And 
I posted it on Snapchat and Instagram. There were some people who believed it. And then I saw on Instagram, one of my best friends in the entire world. I love her to death. She sometimes watches my videos. If you're watching this girl, I love you. She's like my number one supporter. Especially when you work in a field like I work in, like, film and television, where, like, people are really fucking assholes. Like, you find those couple of people who, like, you can gravitate towards. And you know they're going to be the Steven Spielberg to your Martin Scorsese. She's that person to me. And I so she looked, I'm like, she didn't comment anything on it, but I'm like, oh man, she's gonna think I really cut my hair, because like, I actually am like genuinely concerned that she's gonna think I cut my hair. Why? I don't know. But, yeah, I didn't cut my hair, so if you saw it on Instagram or Snapchat that my hair was shorter, I did not cut my hair. My hair is still the same length, but that was me fucking with my friend, because I thought it was really funny. And now I'm gonna go and end this vlog today, um, and I hope you enjoyed it.